Hi everyone, we have Slovenia's number one woman. I am Laura Unuk. Laura, how was the tournament? Uh, well, the tournament was a big roller coaster. Uh, we came here with Slovenia to attack top 15, which would be a like, historic result for Slovenia. And then we had a lot of mishaps we lost already in round two against Ecuador. Uh, but my personally, my tournament was very solid, started some wins, some draws with black, I thought it's gonna go perfectly. And then suddenly I lost two games uh, where I was completely winning. So my tournament completely turned around and uh, yeah, we had a lot of disappointments. But we have very good team spirit, so we were fighting till the end and I won my last game pretty nicely with black pieces. So at least I can say I'm happy with my uh, finished result. Well, your teammates are your friends uh, with whom you started the Chiquitas yeah. channel <laughs> uh, during the pandemic. So for those who are unaware of it, uh, how did it come up? Um, yeah, so we started streaming on Twitch during COVID because well, like I, we saw everybody was doing it and it was something that we never tried before. It was something unique and we said, you know, let's just give it a go. If it goes bad, we can stop anyway. And we got such good feedback and such great fans that also we met here. Uh, and yeah, it was basically a very good decision. We started streaming, sadly, because pandemic is over, we had to stop due to university and chess tournaments and chess training. So we had to continue our life normally, but hopefully we come back soon. <laughs> Speaking of university, you also like uh, shared some <laughs> biochemistry, I think, yeah. <laughs> uh, equation or something during Olympiad. So yeah. are you studying as well as preparing uh, for Olympiad at the same time? Yeah, the thing is I have exam from molecular biology uh, on 18, so like one week after I come back to Slovenia from this Olympiad. So basically if I have, if I, if I want to be a good student, I have to work during chess tournaments as well. So that's why I guess, I hope that's why the result is not as impressive as it should be. But um, yeah, doing two hard things at the same time is, uh, it's, uh, it takes a lot of time and energy. But the thing is, I just love playing chess. So chess is like a very good hobby for me right now. And once I finish university, we'll see what I will decide to do. A lot of people often mistake Slovenia for Slovakia, which annoys <laughs> you a lot. So what would you have to say to those to make sure that they don't make that mistake? Um, that's a very good question. Well, uh, <laughs> I always say that Slovenia is Middle Europe and Slovenia is like uh, the, mo <laughs> the only country in Middle Europe. But um, to not mistake, well, I guess, you know, you should watch Ikita's channel and you will see the difference between Slovenians and Slovakians. Uh, otherwise, actually, we have very similar language, similar flag, similar culture. So I really <laughs> don't have a very good um, explanation, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, you know what, I should have been prepared for that question and I was not, so now I will regret this. <laughs> You're also the brand ambassador for Huawei and uh, for me, I think. Yeah. So can you tell uh, how did that uh, land up? Um, well. You know, as a sport person, because chess is a sport, you kind of have to have support from sponsors. Otherwise, it's very hard to live uh, from the sport you're playing or doing, especially in Slovenia. So when Huawei like said we would be interested in co collaboration, I was like, wow, that's a great company, big company, and like. I was very happy and I'm still very happy uh, because it was a big surprise. They asked me, they have a lot of more famous influencers with like 50,000 followers on Instagram. So uh, yeah, I, I was just, this was something new for me and uh, at least I got some new experiences and hopefully yeah, we continue to collaborate in the future. <laughs> If I remember correctly, this is not your first visit to India. You have been here for uh, World Junior or World Youth, I think, right? No, no, this is my first visit to India. I, I had a choice to play uh, under 20 World Junior Championship, but uh, something else came up. I don't exactly remember what, so I could not participate in that tournament. 
and this is actually my first time to India and I am extremely, extremely impressed with the organization and with friendliness and how everybody is just putting so much effort into making this tournament work. So did you manage to explore the city? No, sadly no. There was one free day but uh, my plan was to do exploring after today's round. Um, so hopefully I can visit some nice places after this. <laughs> And your channel subscribers are already quite familiar with your little brother Tinez. <laughs> yeah. So what did he have to say before you uh, <laughs> showed up for the Olympiad? Okay, so um, he, he asked me, do I really have to go? Why should I go? And that uh, mosquitoes will bite me and I will probably get uh, malaria. <laughs> That's what he said. So I was like, thank you so much for the support. <laughs> But no, yeah, I was slightly concerned because I didn't know what to expect, which accommodation we will get, will it be comfortable, especially because I'm really scared of snakes and because I always do research, you know, how many snakes there are in any country. So I did my research and <laughs> I was scared to see some cobras, <laughs> but I didn't luckily, so everything was perfect and I like can't wait to maybe visit again. You found a few insects and crabs, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> So, apart from exams in one week from uh, the end of tournament, what's next for you? Uh, hopefully, if everything's correct, I play European Women Championship, which will be in Czech Republic, right after my exam. And uh, after that, some leagues, Slovenian League, European Club Cup, uh, some other leagues in Europe. And after that, we'll see. Take it one step at a time. <laughs> Thank you, Laura, for your valuable time. I wish you all the best for your Thank future. Thank you. <laughs>